This is the Average Guy Network, and you have found Home Gadget Geek show number 380, recorded on November 29th, 2018. Here on Home Gadget Geeks, we cover all the favorite tech gadgets that find their way into your home. News, reviews, product updates, and conversation, all for the average tech guy. I'm your host, Jim Carlson, broadcasting live from the AverageGuy.tv studios here in a chilly, but not too bad, Bellevue, Nebraska. A little uh, little icy rain tonight, maybe. The temperatures are just perfect, but Christmas is on its way. Mike, have you made it out to see Christmas lights and do any of that stuff yet? I know you were shopping, but uh, did you make it out for any of that stuff? Not yet. We always like to do one, you know, tour, though. We go around and look at all the lights. There's a lot of cool – there's like a map you can get of Omaha of all the homes that do uh, fun lights, and they're always themed up to music, to the radio. And, and so we do that closer to Christmas. We'll usually go out with the family when they come into town and, and do that. But we haven't done it yet, but definitely starting to feel the feel the Christmas spirit. We've got all of our decorations up. Hannah's always the first to have that up. So she's got the tree and the garland, and the whole house is very Christmas-esque. Uh, do you do, you do lights here. on the outside? Yeah, to her dismay, no. <laughs> I have not done that yet. We've been in this house two years, and I still have yet to go out and actually hang lights. So uh, it's it's on the list, but I need to do it. Yeah, it's a lot of work. I, um, I've i been thinking about doing some Christmas lights on the deck. Uh, I bought, um, not technically, I guess we'll, we'll call this a home gadget. Uh, this week, I bought one of those six-foot standing tall propane heaters outdoor heaters that you would put, right? That you'd see them in restaurants. And yeah. Stuff. I've been wanting one of those for my back patio. Yeah. Well, I got one coming. You're going to have to come over. We're going to have to, we're going to have to test it out with, you know, drinks and cigars on the deck. Of course. Yeah. It's right? the only way to test that out. Yeah, totally. So that is coming. Uh, that's coming this week. I'm trying to extend kind of the deck season. And, and I thought maybe uh, we'll, we'll spin this to the gadget mode. I thought maybe I would buy some of those huge stri- uh, um, rope lights. You know, they have, they got some hue rope lighting. It's like 85 bucks. Whoa. Like, yeah. I was like, I can buy a lot of Christmas lights for 85 bucks. Yeah. No kidding. Yeah. So I think I'm just going to go to Shopco and pick up some, you know, pick up $10 worth of Christmas lights and string them on the deck. Uh, I, I had a, a neighbor that did that in their backyard. It looks great. And I was like, okay, I want to do some, I think I'm just going to do Christmas lights at the end of the season. Just throw them away or maybe leave them out there, you know, just get some lighting. I've got, I've got uh, power out there. So I need to get something going. I've been looking, uh, Aaron has done some lighting reviews. And so I've been watching those, but it would be good. I'm trying to extend our time on the deck, you know, and, uh, my neighbor bought this heater and he, he, he turned it on for me and, I was like, oh, I came right home. Amazon, 106 bucks. Worth it, it. It's on the deck. 160 or 106? 106. Dang, that's a really good price. Yeah. yeah no, it's super good. So pretty pumped. We'll see if one will do. If not, uh, we'll do two. Mm-hmm. And we're hoping the, my son, my Marine son, comes home for Christmas here in um, oh Christmas Eve. And so we're hoping the week or the 10 days that he's home, we can uh, get some get some outside uh, time. Uh, we got a fire pit as well. So we'll get that going and, and uh, see how that works. So I thought about punching through and actually running a, a gas line because, you know, we have a, a four tap and two are open for our gas. Like, I could run a line out there, but, you know, at that point, it's so much easier just to throw the propane tank in there, not to worry about it being tethered to anything, have this line running out there and all the work. But I, I thought about it for a brief second yeah. there. It might be worth it. I think yeah. I might do that for a grill at some point and put the grill right up against the, the wall and just run a yeah. line out there to make it easy. Never worry about propane them again yeah you'll have to think maybe a couple of these on your deck would be pretty nice uh and you've got that big open space in the back and if you i bet if you had two maybe six to eight feet spaced apart and um you know throw a few i you're you it would really look christmasy if you strung christmas lights underneath that oh completely yeah Yeah. man that'd be a good little party back there so um well anyways all right folks sorry we just a little tangent there. We'll post all the links to everything we talk about today. Most of it's going to come from the Facebook group. I'll just be honest, out at theaverageguy.tv. Don't forget, you can join us on our mobile app if you want to join us live. It's a good way to download it, have it available, iPhone, Android, either way. Available to you if you want to uh, to do it that way. HomeGadgetGeeks.com. And I want to thank our Patreon subscribers for doing that as well. Mike, either you're really still or are you locked up. Are you... It, were you Am I really still? Dude, you were just super still. Yeah, I was just, you know, locked in. <laughs> Cow, that was creepy. 
So, I don't. I don't think I'm HD to you, by the way. Am I? It's a little, a little blocky, or do I look okay to you? A little. It's a little fuzzy. Yeah, I noticed that. Uh, I think it's because I'm using Internet Explorer that because I have to use two different browsers in order to pull in. One pulls in with Twitch. One goes to you. I think if I were to redo it, I would uh, maybe just pop open another version of Chrome and do it in like incognito, so I could log into a different account. But yeah, time, you could use the. Uh, what was that browser that we that the guy that we interviewed? Ghost browser. Ghost browser. There you go. You can yeah. Well, Ghost. that runs on Chromium. It does. Yeah. Ghost yep. browser. We are live on Twitch as well. If you uh, you want to head out to the live two page, averageguy.tv, just click on the live two tab and uh, it's available out there. Just scroll down a little bit. And we're watching the chat both here and on Twitch. If you are joining us on Twitch, welcome. We're hanging out for the next hour or so talking gadgets. It's a pretty laid back show and today will probably be even laid back more than most. We probably won't get to the point right away. I'm just, <laughs> everybody's like, oh, or, or ever. I mean, we might just, you know, we'll get to the I point know. at the end. And then if you want to stay around at the end of the show, we'll do a little post-show crypto. And, of course, we post that crypto conversation out uh, out on our Patreon page. Go to theaverageguy.tv slash Patreon. All right, Mike, uh, busy Black Friday weekend. You want to – did you do anything for Black Friday? No, you guys are out on the farm, it looked like. But uh, did, you do, did you do anything for Black Friday? No, we got hit by the stomach flu bug in our oh. house. So the boys had it, Hannah and I had it, and it lasted for you know two, three days each. Uh, so we each got it at different points. Hannah and I got it on the same day, so we didn't even go to family Thanksgiving. Uh, I do have to say, though, if you're trying to lose weight, I highly suggest the stomach flu. I lost six pounds in two days. Oh, yeah. Um, I could have done an infomercial for, for stomach flu. I'm Mike from Omaha, and I lost six pounds in two days on the stomach flu. You so. have the abs of the flu. <laughs> oh, totally. Yeah, you get to see the ribs and everything. It was uh, so, so no, the, it was not a very fun Thanksgiving around here. Uh, but by the weekend, we were okay. Yeah, we went down to the farm, but did zero shopping. Okay. I actually didn't even buy anything on Cyber Monday this year, Jim. I was so just, I, I don't know, I wasn't. I wasn't even in that zone. I wasn't in the shopping mode and I, I didn't even get online to shop once on Cyber Monday. We were just kind of out of it. Man, that's kind of weird. It, it, very weird for me. Usually Cyber Monday is where we lock down a bunch of stuff. And I think to be honest, Hannah and I are a little bit behind the game this year and thinking about what we want to get for people. So uh, I think we just you know didn't have the list ready and I wasn't about to go out and just spend random money on stuff. So right. and, uh, well, I think yeah, the we, good news is the deals will be around. For most of Christmas. Well, that's what I've been noticing. Even the Cyber Monday deals are sticking around for a little bit. We, we, you know, I've bought a few little gadgets here and there actually between Monday and now that we've needed and still getting pretty decent prices on all that stuff as well. I should have, we talked about last show about me picking up an Xbox and uh, should have picked it up, should have went out early to Kohl's. It was $199 plus $60 in Kohl's cash. And uh, we, we shop at Kohl's all the time. It's where I get most of my clothes. And a shocker. And um, uh, I didn't get there in time. So it was gone. In fact, I didn't get out. My, I went I went Black Friday shopping in the afternoon. It was pretty, everything was pretty destroyed by that point. I picked up some inside, some innards for my toilet. It's screaming when we flush it. It literally is screaming. And so it, it you know, wakes everybody up in the house if you go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. So I got to get that <laughs> replaced. And I picked up a sponge because, you know, you got to empty out the, the toilet when you do it. And, um, what else? Did, oh, I picked up a hand, uh, a hand soft so I could do some pruning uh, with with uh, I had some um, some bushes that I had trimmed early in the in the fall and it, the, the big branches were still sticking out. So they I, I got this little hand saw. It's a little six inch like this. Man, that thing is freaking sharp. Just pull it through. It's done. And uh, so I got uh, all my um, on Thursday, I got all my chores done right before we got all that bad weather. And, uh, and so snow came in and I got my, I got my lawn, I got the winterizer on my lawn and I was pretty happy about that. So I spent, I got my 12,000 steps, by the way, I figured out how to start a group in Fitbit. So if you want to join us in Fitbit, send me an email, Jim at the average guy.tv. I will friend you and then I'll add you to the group. So we actually have our own group now. Oh, so instead of just being challenged, it's actually a, a yeah. actual group. Cool. Yeah, we have an actual group now. So if you want to, if you want to do that, Jim at the average guy.tv, um, let me know and we'll, we'll get you included in that. But it was, um, um, yeah, I got a lot done that weekend and I, but I just didn't get out and get much shopping done. So no Xbox yet. I did. I, I mentioned I bought that heater and I'm gonna give that a try. That's a hundred bucks. So I was like, okay, maybe I won't buy myself too many Christmas presents before Christmas at this point. I may wait for after Christmas 
we got a lot of things going on, and uh, so I might wait till after Christmas. To I'm surprised though, no Xbox. I thought you were for sure going to be jumping on that. Yeah, well, I I still am, and the 199 deals are they're out there. I think they're going to be available. I just haven't. I think I'm going to kind of wait through Christmas and just see what see what's out there. I have a pretty busy schedule up until then. The last thing I need to do is have, be down here gaming all the time on an Xbox. But we'll get it figured out. And uh, maybe a little bit after Christmas, I asked you in our Facebook group, not you, Mike, but you, the community, you guys are listening in our Facebook group. What did you actually buy? And so Jeremy Dennis said he got a Fitbit Charge 3, I think uh, for 120 bucks. I think the Fitbit must have sold or is going to sell a gajillion of these. They've got the price right for this. These These charge devices are heart rate monitor they do all your steps they'll do i think they'll do um uh when you're doing up and down stairs they got a whole bunch of great stuff and the price is right at 120 bucks mike the i've been looking at those apple watches still a little steep at 399 you know a little bit yeah because you're probably looking at the current gen model right yeah, yeah. and yeah, they're still a little yeah. steep. i think i'm gonna wait on that one too i'd like the one with the ekg at 51 i'd kind of like to have the heart rate monitor kind of thing you know so I know that's in the series four, so maybe I'll wait till we get some deals on that. Uh, Jeremy also bought a TP Link smart plug from Amazon. Those are fifteen or twenty bucks, and um, I love those. By the way, I have two of them. The TP Link brand, they're perfect. We use one every year for the Christmas tree. Uh, we have another one that we just use for different items here and there. I have one actually that that's how I turn on and off my podcasting light um, with Miss A Lady. So those connect to uh, A Lady, and then you can use her to turn them on and off. I love them. They're super cheap. They just work. They're a little bit big, uh, but they the way they've done it is they're they're more rectangle and long. So they don't cover up that second plug, but they are a little bit thick on the box side, but still great for the price. Studio lights right now being run off one of those plugs that I bought last year. And uh, I was going to buy one for the Christmas tree. This is the perfect, like if you haven't gotten into a smart plug, Christmas tree, best way to do it. Get exactly. Tree plugged in, tell Lady A, hey, turn on the Christmas tree lights. Boom, you're in business. This is the year to do it. If you are if you haven't gotten into smart devices and you haven't done the plugs, this is the year to get it done. Get one of those, put it on the Christmas tree, whatever. Get it attached to Amazon. Speaking of that, Mike, I think between Google Home and Amazon, they were everywhere. 20, 25 bucks. Like, I... I, are you tempted to go out and put like put uh put one of those devices in every room in the house? I kind of am, uh, to be honest. We pretty much already do, or else I would. We have one in our room, uh, my son Emmett's room. We have one in the kitchen. I have one down here at the desk, and really for us, that covers the entire space. So much so, oh, and no, and we have one in the nursery as well. We literally have one in every single room in our house, <laughs> uh, and our thermostats and Eco B. So that is also um, an Alexa device, and so much so we say stuff, and I mean it's heard by. Two two, if not three in the house. So, it, and the one thing I will say, they've gotten a lot better at ignoring, you know, if three of them do hear you at the same time, they do kind of focus in and only have one take over. They don't all start talking. They don't get confused. And they, I think they've done some sort of smarts in the background with, with maybe the noise, how loud it was when it heard it. So that's the, obviously the closest one to you. When I say stuff in our bedroom, uh, both the eco B and the one in the bedroom try and fight over who's going to say what. <laughs> So, but it works out pretty well. Yeah, I, I mentioned, I think, on the show two weeks ago, I've been using my phone to, I think that was on the show, using my phone to listen to rain at night. And somebody reminded me, you can just say, hey, Lady A, play some rain sounds, and it'll 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 do that for you. I um, I don't know if I'm ready to go with another device in that room just yet, but, man, I'm, I'm getting pretty close. They're super cheap. This is the Christmas, too, that if you haven't gone digital assistant, pick one. They're all about the same, uh, either one. Google or Amazon, they're all about the same. Give it a try. Uh, Jeremy also said he picked up for his wife, uh, or at least his wife got a Lenovo X1 Carbon. Really nice laptop, 530 bucks off. So I think if you if you need new computer equipment, um, you're going to find pretty good deals between now and the first of the year uh, on a lot of those pieces. Ernesto had said he bought a few 4K movies, which is great. If you got some, if you got some devices playing 4K, NVIDIA Shield will do that as well. Chromecast Audio. Some computer parts from Corsair and uh, and for the kids' presence. So good job there, Ernesto. Ryan uh, said I snagged an Elgato Stream Deck. 
for a hundred bucks. Oh, I'm it. jealous. That's on my list as well. Yeah, those, well why? Why would uh, you? So those stream decks, what they do is essentially, if you're running something like OBS and you're live streaming, so just like we're doing right now to Twitch, um, you they're pretty much essentially programmable keys. So it's a physical hardware device. Uh, it's a, you know it's a rectangle. It's got physical buttons on it. Uh, with the backlighting though on them is actually an LED like little screen, LCD screen. So you can actually you know put a little picture there of what you want, and you can fast switch between scenes, or you can have those buttons are programmable for whatever you want to do in OBS. So switching back and forth between maybe a game and then your full screen camera, doing some sort of sound effect, all of that can run through your stream deck. Uh, super super convenient. So if I mean for streamers, and he's about he's right. They're usually about 150. I'm guessing he got the one with, so there's different amounts. There's like a six key version and then I think like a 10 key, something like that version. So if he got that for a hundred, that's a really good deal. That's on my list this year as well. Hopefully I can snag a good deal on one of those in the future. Now, right now, b photo, 129. For which version? How many let's, keys let's does it have? I mean, let's just take a look at that if you're out of b Because 129 is still a pretty good price. That is a one, two, three, four, five, 15 keys. 15. Yeah. Okay. So that's a good deal on that one. Does that make sense? Uh, yep. That would make sense. So I'm wondering for a hundred dollars, I wouldn't, or which one Ryan got. I'm guessing he got the 15 model. If he says usually 150, that's, that's what he got it for. So, yeah, but still 130 is still pretty good. He's usually out in the chat room, but I don't see him tonight. Um, speaking of buying, have you used honey before? I have not. So I, I didn't. My, my daughter came home over the Thanksgiving break and she's like, dad, if you're not using honey, like you're paying, you're paying more than you should. And I was, I, I'd seen ads for honey. It's a, a Chrome extension. I think that's an, you can do it in Explore or in a, um, Edge or Firefox. What it does is it on the site, it makes sure you are paying the lowest price by site, which on Amazon can be super helpful. Like, because Amazon will have multiple SKUs at different prices. And so sometimes, and I'm not talking like hundreds of dollars, but maybe fives or tens of dollars in savings. Same item can be $5 cheaper on a different SKU, which is really where same exact item. It just, it's supplied by a different manufacturer and the price is a little bit different. Wow. So you, you install this plugin and at checkout, when you're, when you put the things in the cart, it'll tell you, hey, this is either the cheapest on this site or it's not. And if you want to switch it over, it switches it for you in the cart, which is really, really super cool. And so how much do you think are you saving normally, like per transaction so far? Three three to five bucks, usually. Three Still, that adds up. Yeah. And with however many times you do it. No, and they, there's no, it doesn't cost you anything. I am sure that they are assigning their Amazon, you know, uh, affiliate link to oh, right. it, right? right? Or, or, or whatever. I'm sure that's the way they do it. But um, uh, um, Quasi says it mixed results with honey here. It says it finds a cheaper price. If it's on eBay, it's not always accurate. Okay, that's good to know. Less than new egg. And the coupon codes rarely seem to work. Um, well, I, I haven't messed with it very much, just to be honest with you. I installed it. She swears by it. And I've been kind of testing it out and just kind of see like, hey, is this the, you know, how's this working? On Amazon, I've only done it a couple of times, but uh, I want to throw that out there to see. Um, it doesn't do it across sites. It, it seems to be just on the single site. But as I was looking at b and was, was I was kind of thinking, I wonder if there's honey integration here with B&H. If, here, let me add it to the cart. Let's just see if this, and we'll view the cart. We'll see if there's honey integration in with this. It doesn't look like it. So, um, yeah, 129 free shipping and no tax at B&H, 129 bucks for one of those. Eh, good job, Ryan. That looks like a good, uh, looks like a good deal there. I, I didn't know what that was. So, Mike, I'm glad that you did. Um, Tara, uh, Tara said she just ordered a, a Bre uh, Breville. I, I can never pronounce that. Breville toaster of an air fryer, which is, we talked, remember, we had Micah on here talking about an air fryer on there. Uh, they had 20% off and stack it with another 20% off coupon at Bed Bath & Beyond. So nice deal on those if you're going to... Do you if, have one of those? I do. I, I've been wondering if we actually got one as a present for a person who wanted one for their wedding. And I was like, you know, I've never even used it, but we've been hearing a lot of people that have been wanting them and using them and we got it for them. But I, I was like, I don't even know what this thing is. Never used it. Yeah, no, I... We thought about going with an air fryer. Um you know, lately we have a bread maker. We've got one of those uh, kitchen made 
you know, the big, you know, the big device that looks sweet on, but nobody ever uses it. Right. So we for a lot of years. We, we haven't been using it lately. Probably should come off. I, I'd wanted to make some pumpkin bread the other day and I thought, mm, maybe I'll find a pumpkin bread recipe, throw that in my, in the bread maker. Those are, that would be delicious. You know, the pumpkin bread you can get at Starbucks. That's so. Yes. That's so delicious. It's pumpkin loaf. Pumpkin, it's pumpkin pound cake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> it's, it's so delicious. So no, we didn't, we didn't pick up one of those. Um, I'm trying to think, what have we, have we done any kitchen gadgets lately? Um, no, no, I guess we haven't. I did ask for a little, um, for Christmas. I put it on my family Christmas list, uh, for a Nespresso tray to go under there to hold the Nespresso pods that are, that are under And they make some really cool ones for Nespresso. We actually, I mean, we have one for our Keurig, but Nespresso, like the branding and the styling of all those is really cool. I think so they have like some really nice wooden drawer ones that you can put under there. Nespresso has got some really cool options when it comes to those drawers. Yeah. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping one of, Santa brings me one of those there you go. <laughs> uh, for Christmas. To Jim from Jim under the Christmas tree. Tara also says she's giving herself a LASIK surgery for Christmas. Yikes. Nothing like having your eyes pried open and burned to, uh, you know, you know, I'm joking, but no, not really. <laughs> <laughs> not really, but uh, um, good for you. I, I just, I can't do that. I can't, I can't. I can't let them screw with my eyes. I just have no problem with my contacts. You know, I sleep in them. They're 30 days. I leave them in for a month. So I really have no incentive to to go out and get the surgery because the contacts just work so well for me. Brian had mentioned that he got Disc Drill Pro 2. There have been some conversations in the Facebook group about what software to use to completely clean a disc off. And I think this came out of that, out at stacksocial.com, which I, is a site I'd never seen before. Mike, have you ever been out to Stack Social? Yes, I have. There's a lot of good information out there. Is there? Yeah. Gifts under 30, gifts under 75. They got kind of gifts for guys, right? It's kind of a gift site. And uh, you can get an Apple Watch out there. They got a refurbed Apple Watch Series 1 for three. Man, that's crazy. That thing's still carrying 259 bucks. Not worth it. Okay. <laughs> Not worth it whatsoever. You can get a Series 1 for like $50 if you uh, just go on like your local Facebook marketplace because the Series 1 can't be updated to the local software or the, the current software, sorry. And so, I mean, people are selling those off like nothing. Yeah. Okay. So don't do that. Bro. No, yeah. Do not spend two fifty nine on a Series 1. Brian got a light with uh, lifetime updates for 20 bucks. So... Good deal out there. Um, I think Kyle uh, had got himself a new router. Let's take a peek at this one real quick. He picked up a TP-Link TLSG. Um, uh, let's, so this one's expired. Thank you for letting me know that. But a TLSG 108D. It's an eight-port unmanaged gigabit desktop switch for 13 bucks. So nicely done. Um, I think that was a, that's a slick deal that pointed over at Newegg. And, uh, and it came with a, with a coupon code as well. So Kyle, nice job. Good deal. That sounds like a good deal to me if you're in that space and you need those things. This is really that time. Like, it, you know, when you can pick up some of those great deals on things you've been waiting for. Um, to, he, it looks like he also picked up for a family member, a Google Assistant uh, speaker for 25 bucks. So that's a good, that's a good way. You know, I'm kind of tempted, like with the Google speaker, like for those rooms where like, I could get a dot, but then I got to plug it into some speakers, right? And because, um, you know, and it sounds like maybe Google is a better way to go on that. So I, th I think you're right. Yeah. yeah. On mine, it, the ones, because we have the dots in most of the rooms, they're they're now what you want to listen to music on unless you have them plugged into speakers. Oh. Tajoski says he picked up a, Do a Doom VFR for 15 bucks and then not nothing much else exciting. Um, I there was some exciting stuff out there. I thought maybe Kevin had dropped in the chat 500 gig M2 NVMe SSD and a malware bytes five pack. Well, that's not a bad deal there. If you can, he didn't put the price in there. Steve mentioned he got a Roku Ultra for 50 bucks, picked up an Echo for 20. That's pretty good. An all row add on cam for 60 bucks and some cheap 4K Blu rays. So it seems maybe this was the, the um, Black Friday for 4K. You know, 
Yeah. And cameras. So Simply Safe also announced their new ring or essentially their doorbell. So if you're used to like the ring doorbell, Simply Safe now has their version, which if you're a Simply Safe user like I am, you've been waiting for this all year. When they announced their new hardware back at the beginning of the year, they said, Oh, hey, and we also have outdoor cameras coming, we've got a doorbell coming, and we just hadn't seen it, hadn't seen it. They finally released that. I think it was actually right before Black Friday, somewhere right around Thanksgiving. And uh, so I'll be interested to see how that compares. I'm, I'm hoping we end up picking one of those up because we are a Simply Safe security system user. But I was excited to see they finally released it. Uh, it's been gaining some traction out there. There have already been a lot of good reviews on it, people saying it's working well. So we'll see how that compares to Ring and if they can kind of pull any of the market away. You know, it's going to be hard to compete with Ring. Ring's been the leader so far in all the cameras. So I think unless you have the Simply Safe system, uh, I don't I don't know if it's going to sell well outside of that market. But we'll see. Uh, Tony says in the chat room, CNET, CNET How To podcast. Just Justin did a podcast that mentioned Honey. And another tool says you have to go back and take a look at it. Uh, Quasi says price blink Chrome extension checks other sites when you settle on an item. So that'd be a good, another good one to take a look at. It looks like price blink. Some people, uh, Tony had mentioned some people with laser uh, night vision problems when they're done. So they might want to ask. Quasi says uh, back to that. He says, as an example, a PS4 Pro one terabyte on Walmart is $499 with price blink shows it cheaper at B&H. The uh, B and H. Oh, it says cheaper at B and H, Groupon, Target, and other sites. So I have to give that one a try. A price blink. If you want to give that one a, if you're always comparing prices. And then uh, Tony says he bought a Google Home Hub for hundred bucks. That's I think that's the screen one, right? That comes, yes. Yep. Those were all over TV. Like I, you couldn't every game, every show. Google just totally crushed that weekend. And um, so they're over there. And then a uh, uh, Cavo Control Center for 60 bucks. I don't know what that is. What's a Cavo? Mike, do you know what that is? C I do not. I didn't know what that one was either. C-A-A-V-O. Let's take a look. Control Center. Oh, it's a remote. Looks like it's a universal remote with a control center with a universal remote. So cool. Cavo normally 100 bucks, And he got, it looks like he got it for 60 So. Nice job. Yeah, Home Gadget Geek Shoppers. Nice job. Tim Black. Tim, I haven't heard from you in a while. Thanks for still listening. I appreciate that. TP oh, I got it. By the way, Tim, I have a Drobo story here in a little bit. So hang tight. You can put you can um, um, you can put dollar signs in the comments if you want to do that later. Tim was the one who started that, by the way, the dollar signs whenever we say Drobo. He used to do that on Home Server Show back in the day. Tim bought a TP Link Mini. Uh, smart plugs. We talked about those a little bit earlier. A WD Black 500 gig high performance NVMe. Man, this is the winter of solid state and NVMe. No like, kidding. My gosh, this is going to be great. I, I think it's it's if you're not on SSD yet, you should be watching right now for sure. And it's just getting cheaper. So, Mike, do you see any other deals out there that? Uh, that you were interested, I'll, I'll pop over to the Facebook group and see what else we saw. No, we talked about the last one that we were talking about was uh, SSDs. I just noticed everywhere that they were on sale. You could get yeah. some 500 gigs up to a terabyte, and they're just coming down. They're so cheap now. Uh, I, you know, if I had more of a use case, honestly, everything that I have is already upgraded to an SSD. But I thought about it. I'm like, man, I could really start, uh, you know, at that price point, you could start adding some more SSDs into my Unraid box. Right, have another cache that way I could strike my cache, have a and the cache would be backed up, doing things like that. Uh, I didn't pull the trigger on it, but I was very close. Had I had a machine that wasn't for some reason on SSD yet, I, I would have been pulling the trigger on those last weekend. Kevin's been dropping in the Facebook group. Uh, let's see if this Woot deal is still any good. Um, yeah, so far, so good. So if you head out uh, in the show notes, it still might be there, but if you look at on the Woot computer deals, a refurb uh, 710. Um, eight gig, uh, eight gig of memory. No, I'm sorry. Um, eight gig. Oh, eight or 16 gig. There we go. I've been drinking too much of this beer. I have a feeling that a alcohol content in this beer is pretty high, Mike. You should I'm check on that one. I mean, this one, the, we four. talked about this. This is a 10% from them. Oh, it is 10. Is yeah. it 10? 10.3. Oh, 10.3. There you go. Yikes. No wonder. Holy I, cow. By the way, we, we didn't look at the arson. This one, that's a cool Hornet. They've got on uh, this can. I yeah. tell you, the, the artistry on these cans is fantastic. I love the one on yours. Yeah, if you're just joining us, Mike and I are uh, have picked up some new Brickway uh, Omaha beers here. So 
pretty pretty delicious. I just better slow down on that thing. Holy cow! I'm <laughs> slowing my words here pretty quick. So a Dell Optiplex 1070. Uh, it comes with eight or sixteen gig of RAM. In this case, uh, they're they're under five hundred bucks, which is pretty good. And in some cases, they're like three hundred and thirty bucks. So between two sixty and three thirty. So if you need kind of a just a workhorse um, PC, Core i three. Uh, yeah, Core i three. Some pretty good, um, there's some pretty good deals out. I have sung the praises of those Optiplexes on this show multiple times, but you guys know that those are the ones that I actually find on eBay used. You know, I, I think I got the one I have now for $60. It's an i5. That thing has just been a, it sits in my server rack on 24 7. It runs all of my security cameras. Uh, I never, that machine never goes down and it just runs and it runs 24 7 for me. It's up all the time. I love those Optiplex boxes. Now, you're not going to be able to put a graphics card in it. You're not going to be able to upgrade it. You can't pull the board out and put something else. They're all pretty much Dell proprietary stuff in there and the size and everything. Uh, but they're just a solid, solid machine. Yeah, you might actually be able to put a graphics card in. I can't remember if they added it, but the problem is the power supply in there usually doesn't have an no, extra. No, it for it. you're not going to do much upgrading. It's it's really, if you need it the way it is, you could probably add an SSD drive. You know, if you want to add an extra drive, you could get another spinner in there too. There's always space for that. But uh, yeah, you're not going to upgrade those. But they make great little boxes if, you know, especially for the kids, you know, that's a, a pretty good little deal. Well, I want to thank you guys for heading out to Facebook during this uh, this long weekend. If you got more deals, you can head out to the Facebook group, facebook.com slash groups slash the average guy. And uh, just ask to be invited in and I will let you in. And if, uh, We'll keep it going. If you got a deal, we always love to hear about it. Everybody loves a good deal. And uh, we'd love to hear about it. Drop it in the group. Mike, one of the deals I found, of course, you know, I'm a Bitdefender guy. I have the Bitdefender box that I've been kind of uh, the box to. So kind of a router, Wi-Fi router, and security device all in one. Does a great job of blocking stuff. I get notice notifications all the time. Hey, I stopped a phishing attempt or it stopped. You know, it just stops things. It's, it's kind of nice. In a house full of kids where I can't always control sometimes what they're doing. Right. Especially kids are coming over, right? They're checking in and out all the time. I can't control their equipment when they're here or whatever. So it's been kind of handy. I've been monkeying around. We've been talking about VPN services, right? Mm -hmm. and, I, and I've, I, I never have jumped on the VPN bandwagon, but they threw a $30 a year deal at me. They were like unlimited 30 bucks a year. And I was kind of like, okay, this is a no brainer. I use their apps. On my phone, I use it on my computer. I can literally just start it, and I'm I'm done. You know, like it, boom, I'm in. It's connect, and it just connects. And so I've been uh, I, I've been messing around with it on my phone. Um, it connects from anywhere. I put it puts a little VPN signal up in the, you know, up in the notification and the upper uh, in, in the bar, and it's secure. And uh, thirty bucks uh, over at Bitdefender. So I think. Again, it's unlimited, so I, you know, I don't, I don't know how much I'm using. I don't leave it on all the time. Um, I, I just kind of just been testing it out to see, like, okay, you know, you know, I'm at work. I don't need it on there. You know, I don't do that much public Wi-Fi. I don't really need it on at home. But for thirty bucks, I thought not a bad deal. You're yeah, it's not bad because I pay. So I use PIA Private Internet Access, and I pay thirty nine dollars a year for that. So just a little bit more. I'd be interested to see, you know, the, the throughput you're getting on that VPN. If the speeds are pretty close, PIA has fantastic speeds. I will say that's the one thing. I mean, you can, for most people on their home network, they're going to get their full internet speed, which is usually the problem with VPNs. You'll notice is that your speed really starts to go down a lot. Um, but yeah, I I love PIA. I use it all the time. PIA lets you get five concurrent connections for that $39. So you could have five devices on uh, at one time on the VPN, which works out pretty well. It's more than I need ever. Usually I'll either have my laptop or the desktop I'm using and then my phone or iPad. And so I'm usually only running two or three at the same time. Love it. Uh, Quasi says, make sure that VPN is secure. I don't know what that means. I'm assuming VPNs are secure by nature. I'm not sure a, a company like Bitdefender who sells security systems and devices and stuff is going to put out a crappy VPN. I, no, I don't True. know. Sure. I don't know for sure. Don't get me wrong. But it because I I had thought, you know, about I kind of thought about that. Like, well, how do I know this is really secure? I'm buying it from a service. I think the motivation for them is probably pretty strong not to sell a service that wouldn't be 
completely secure. You like should that. see if they keep logs. That's the biggest thing with the VPNs that, you know, they're not going to sell the information. They're not doing that, but they might have a log of what you're doing. And so if they ever, if the information ever got requested, they do technically have the information. That's true. That's so true. CIA does not keep any logs. There's no way, even if someone came and said, hey, what has this person been doing? Um, they, they don't, they don't track it. They don't keep that information. Yeah. Yeah. And, and uh, like Quasi's saying, uh, maybe where their servers are located. True. Uh, yep. Makes they, do they give you an option on the app to choose like a region no. or a state? Mm -hmm. So that's one thing I love about PIA. I mean, it's down to the level. You can choose Midwest, Texas, East, uh, West, Chicago. You can choose from all the big cities. You can choose internationals, whatever you want. And you can get, you can drill down and be very specific, yeah. which is one thing I do like. Um, if you were using a VPN to get around like regional blocking for sports events, for, you know, a lot of times they'll block it in your area because it's on local TV. Uh, it's nice to be able to just say, well, let me be in Chicago right now, or let me be in Texas or New York, California, wherever you want to be. Yeah. I'll look into it a little bit more. I'm not, um, you know, I, every, we've been talking about v VPNs and I don't really need one. I mean, I, it wasn't one of those things I went into. I'm not trying to hide anything from anybody. It's not like, you know, not like I'm trying to, you know, I, you know, but, I, but I wanted to, we've been talking about them. I kind of, it was, it was a, it was a handy purchase you know, to kind of go, especially through them, it was a kind of a one click. I, I have, um, I have appreciated their antivirus software and some of the things that it does um, for me and where I run it. It has been very aggressive on all the mining stuff. It, in fact, I've got to take it off any mining device. I got to take it off because it just clears all the miners, uh, you know, when you have them on there. Right. Um, let me see if I can, I'll, I'll look into it a little bit. If you're interested, if you got some information on it, you're an expert in this, you want to send me some links, whatever. I'd be interested in knowing that's 30 bucks. I'm not that worried about it. Again, I'm not, I'm not trying to, I don't do banking from Starbucks. <laughs> like, you know, I'm not uh, everything I do here. I'm pretty secure this place, but I, I, I thought, well, I give it a try. It was a pretty good deal at 30 bucks. <clears throat> Excuse me at 30 bucks. I thought it was a pretty good deal unlimited for the the the, uh, the time of my subscription and um and yeah so the gym says good show idea for christian maybe i'll run it by christian see what he thinks um as well i just tacked it on to my annual subscription over there and uh and so far so good so i'll give it a try mike um i uh well let me i've got these stories reversed let me in the show notes let me just flip them really quick so this weekend i was trying to move some things out to the drobo and um, the Drobo wouldn't resolve. And I'm like, hey, what's, like, what, what's going on here? And so I pull up the dashboard. And sure enough, no, it can't see the drives. And I'm like, ooh, yikes. And so I run through all the troubleshooting and basically come to the conclusion that the file system has corrupted itself. Oh, no. Seriously. I don't want a NAS. That's the nightmare, right? It's yeah. Kind of you're done at that point. There's, I mean, they, they're like, well, you could pull the drives and do block by block back up, you know, and maybe recover that. Now, I don't, if the data, that the data I had on my Drobo was important, I'd have it backed up, but it's not, it's just a storage place. So the data on there don't necessarily care. I had pictures on there. It had been a picture, you know, I was running their app whenever I'd come in the house, it would just automatically upload my pictures to Drobo. Pretty handy, but I'd also been moving them to Google. So, okay. So, mm, you know, I can pull them down from Google. And actually, Google does a lot of cool things with your files. We'll talk about that here in just a second. So did some troubleshooting. There was no way to bring this thing back. It was, uh, I, I was going to have to do a complete, you know, uh, uh, reset on the Drobo. The good news is I reset it in about 20 minutes. Wasn't a big, wasn't a big deal. Reformatted the drives, reset the file system in there. Boom, up and up and running. Piece of cake. The, the app handled it all. It was completely clean. To be honest with you, I kind of been thinking about taking these drives out now and using them for burst. <laughs> <laughs> you would. Like, well, obviously, obviously, you didn't have anything on there that was super critical anyway, or else you would have realized it when you went to go dump everything. So maybe maybe, maybe you could repurpose those drives for other reasons. Yeah, there's a couple, but three terabytes. How many do you have? Uh, this I, They're not that big. It's It's maybe four terabytes total. That I could pull out of there at this point. I have reset my backups. It is a backup. It's a local backup location. So all the PCs back up to it using a Cronus. Um, 
but it it is uh it wasn't that big of a deal but it was really it's the first time i don't know i've had a drobo now for eight years maybe seven years first time i've ever had a problem with it recovered beautifully like i said if i needed the data on it i would have backed it up but i don't uh, i don't need to back up that data that's stuff i could you know recreate or do somewhere else so though but it caused me to think like where am i storing all my pictures you know and i have an amazon prime account i could be putting them there but i, I looked over at google and like i guess it's been a while since i've looked at google photos and and i've had some you know i've been pushing it because I, I downloaded the google app onto my phone so it asked me at some point hey do you want to upload your pictures here i must have said yes because everything i had was there and um oh so i thought but i the older the older ones that were where did i have those backed up at i had them backed up someplace else um i thought you know i should just put all my pictures there and so i upgraded my plan from the free 15 gig to the two dollar you know big spender two dollar 100 gig plan moved everything out there and took 75 gig of it so not very much but mike i was i'm kind of impressed with what google's doing with facial recognition with its ability to put albums together with its ability to stitch like I, we were at northwest missouri state and we were in there um sammy was showing us the media room and they had this big media room where they would do newscasts from and they could do you know green room walls and curtains it was a big room you know two stories tall you know um uh things where you could hang lights from across the roof i took about six pictures not i didn't go like click 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 you know like you would right. click, click i just was like oh this is cool click and this is cool this is click and from those random pictures it stitched together the most perfect picture of that room I've, I've ever seen i was like now there's no way i like it was ran i was literally taking random pictures in there and the composite picture i should show this but have you what what have you been using for pictures what what are you doing well pictures? yeah no kidding now you've got me thinking about just you know throwing everything up on google because why not because i have just been using you know with icloud right icloud backs up all the photos it does help we do have a few macs in the house so when you open the photos app it just all syncs uh, if you're not an apple user otherwise if you're looking to access the photos on other devices yeah you know not the easiest but it works really well really cheap and it's you know they're always there uh and it, it's seamless with the iphone that's what i love about it right you don't have to think about it but uh, you see, you're about showing now the yeah you don't have to think about this on um your iphone like you install the google photos app and it takes care of everything i mean literally you just say yes i want to upload every picture and they just start showing you can see uh, at work um i well there's the picture i sent you the <laughs> of the beer of the beer yeah <laughs> the other day i was like hey mike i got some but like we have a photo, like we do receipts via photo and that's how I, I submit my expense reports. And so it just, they're there, they're automatically there. Okay. So here's the six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Here are the six pictures that I took at the bottom here, right? Not again, not even trying to get, I was just, what I wanted to do, we're building a studio like this at Gallup here in the next couple of years. And I just, I've been taking pictures of studios. And so what I wanted to do is like, okay, I just want to get some examples out of those. It stitched together that picture. That is insane. It's crazy. Like, and yeah, you can see right here on the right hand side. This is, uh, I'm sorry. If you're listening on the audio, I apologize. This is part where you might want to come watch the video, but um, you can see a little bit of tear right there on the right hand side where, where you're looking at the. And it the, kind of turned it purple instead of gray. Yeah. But otherwise. Like that, that looks, I, I thought I had taken a panoramic photo. No, it looks exactly like it. And when you look at the six photos that it got it from, like you said, this is not a perfectly lined up, you went and did it. And the fact that it just found that automatically and thought, hey, this is probably the same room. It's super impressive. And the crazy thing about this is this room doesn't look, it's not a typical room setup. Like this is not like, I would not look at that and think, oh, these all probably go together. There's lights hanging everywhere. It's, it's more of a studio. The fact that it found all those and put it together, it's really impressive. Yeah, Tony's reminding me, the Google is free for pictures, by the way. Um, I, I I should clarify this. I had some videos. It's not free for videos. And I had some videos I, I, I wanted to move over here and keep with my pictures. And that was going to go beyond the 15 gig 
that I had had there. So I kind of bought it to put everything there. If you just put your pictures in there, it's free unlimited pictures, which is really, really cool. Um, it also is, as we scroll down, um, it also, there's, this is one of my favorite pictures of my son. This is, this is the, <laughs> that's just crazy. Um, but that's a, that's a composite as well. Um, but it, it, it was just crazy how it started then finding, uh, here's, oh, here's a good picture of the studio at work. There's a, there's kind of what, what it kind of looks like there at work, but kind of, um, yeah, Mike, I was super impressed. Like, I'm like, dang, okay, Google, you've, you've done some really cool things with, uh, with the pictures. Oh, and by the way, the other thing on the Google, the free is if you allow them to downscale them to their own kind of proprietary format for photos. So if you want to keep full photos up there, you're going to pay for the storage. Uh, but if you're going to, if you're going to, for that, you, you have to upload it. And so I was like at two bucks a month, I'm like, oh yeah, okay. I'll just, I'll just pay. It's not that big of a deal, right? I, I can pay two bucks a month for this, but, um, I yeah. Cause I'm looking right now. So when I first sign up, you have two options, high quality, which is free unlimited storage. And then original, uh, is limited to your account storage, full resolution that counts against your quota. Well, I'll just go with high quality for free because I don't need these to be. Uh, yeah, no, I don't I, need mine to be the originals. So I have the originals elsewhere. Right. Yeah, I kept the original. I just kept it original for what I was doing. And again, I I uploaded about seventy five gig out of a hundred. It's two bucks a month. Oh, you can see here. Oh, I should show here. Hold on, let me. I'll show the uh, I'll show the burst setup here too. I haven't shown this in a while. Maybe we should save this for the uh, for the post show. But here, let's. Let's, there's the, there's the, now I've sold some of these drives since then. So they're, they're, they're no longer, um, oh, you can even hear the fans on. It's a, it's a short little video, you know, clip that's in there. Let's see if I can. Now, was this pre or post selling most of the drives? This is pre selling the drives. So okay. there's only six down there now. There's 14 in this picture. 14, but... eight, eight terabyte drives all going to burst. I love it. <laughs> There you go. There's a little, but so I, I don't know. I, it, that's kind of one that's, uh, um, that kind of snuck up on me. Like I was, I was kind of like, well, I don't know. Now, Tony, I think Tony was saying in the chat room, the facial recognition is sick on this thing. I mean, it is absolutely sick. Like, let me give you an example. So one of my kids, we were, we were, I was going through looking for pictures and you know, it'll, it'll present a face to you. And it's like, who is this? And you can put the name in and then it'll, it'll tag them all that way. And it was pulling pictures where his face was in a picture. We're getting real, I mean, you're getting really pixelated for me, Mike. Oh, it's probably because I turned on Google photos. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it was finding him as a child. So like I have pictures of him at four, found him and tagged him correctly. I have what? Pictures. Yeah. Yeah. I have pictures where it's literally half his face. You know, he's, he's facing, he's not facing the camera, uh, identified it correctly. And I was like, Holy crap. Now, I mean, I know they've gotten good at this, but it was scary good on what they were, what they were finding and the facial recognition. I would have no problems. And then there's like other things like you can search for cars and it will identify cars in pictures. Like, like what do you mean search for cars? Like a, a brand of a car or what? Like car. Like, hey, I'm searching for a car. I, I want to see all my pictures that have a car in them. Any kind of car, you know? And it will start going through your pictures. And if it sees vehicles or cars in them, it'll bring that picture back. Wow. And, um, and, and again, it's probably not new for a lot of you guys that are listening to this. Um, but I haven't, I really have not paid attention to these photo things. I've just been keeping them local and I don't do that much with it. But um, I even, I think I even have, let me put Mike Weger. Yeah, I've got you identified here. And uh, it brings, it brings up our pictures from when we were in DC. Oh yeah. Right. And those are grainy, terrible. Very grainy. It was all dark. And, uh, the yeah. White House is behind us here. Yep. Let, me, let me, let me show these really quick so people can. People can appreciate them here. Let's go here. So I'm um, going to search for Mike Weger. You should be seeing that now. 
And then uh, there's the meetup that we did, right? Michael Ray was in there. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. That finds you. I I didn't do it. I I took one picture. And I put Mike Weaker, and then boom, it's these are the four pictures that I have in my my um my collection with you. Dated them properly. Um, See, and that's a huge thing that, you know, Apple made a big push on their photos app is that, you know, when you can actually start to search and run analytics and your photos app becomes smart, your photos become useful. They no longer just sit in storage and you never go back and look at them. I mean, Jim, this is like where you're sitting around at Thanksgiving or you're sitting around at Christmas and you're saying, you know, grandma or dad, hey, look, let's let's pull these up. And it starts pulling up all these memories and you can literally start searching through vacations and everything at the click of a button and, and it makes it quick. You don't have to go search through stuff and take the time. That's really cool. And uh, you can see here in the search that, sorry to keep, I should just leave this on. I keep flipping it back over. Hold on. Let me go back over here. You can see in the search here that there's the faces. So there's some things you can hiking, right? football. They've got some of those things. You can tag these as favorites videos. There's a selfie screenshots as well but you see the faces going across the bottom there so if i just you know i've got some you know going in there and i'm like oh there's my mom so let's pull up doris she's pretty great and um there's all the pictures with my mom and and again it could even be a secondary picture you know here's a picture with my sister-in-law but my mom's back there <laughs> look at that guy yeah <laughs> Uh, but that's my my uh, my sister in law Carrie. But my mom's kind of fuzzy in the background there. It picked that up. What I'd be surprised. This is Phil, my son right here is Phil. It would be interesting to see if it, it identifies that one. So let's let's do that really quick. Let's do Phil. Phil's in a lot of pictures, so it may, it may take a second to find him um, as we go in here. Let's see if it uh, finds. <laughs> Look at this. Um. You know, I'm, it's going to be too hard to dig through all those. So anyways, um, really cool to come in here and you can kind of then, and then here's the screen. These are the, these are the folks I've identified, right? So it even, <laughs> it even found my cat, all these pictures with my cat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It's pretty great. That is pretty cool. Yeah, it's my favorite. This is one of my favorite pictures with the cat. So there you go. <laughs> cat selfie so mike i don't know pretty great that was well, i'm excited like it like you saw my bandwidth went terrible because i got the app turned it on and started uploading all my photos directly i'm excited for that to finish up so i can start searching through stuff yeah no it's it's pretty cool so if you haven't tried that out it may be worth if again if you upload your pictures just try it out um is it was so i uploaded uh one afternoon and by that evening i was getting notifications on the google assistant that was like, hey, we found some things. And I it must have taken about 50 pictures that were sideways. And it was like, hey, do you want to turn these right side up? And yeah, and it was like, do it to do it to them all. Bam, they were done. Just straight up. Really, that's so cool. And so yeah, it it's almost making me want to do more pictures because like I want to see what it does with it. Right. Nothing new, but um, um pretty cool. So Give that, if you haven't done that, give it a try. Mike, anything else that uh, we think about? It's been two weeks. Anything, any any new stuff that you need to share as we as we close it out? No, not, I mean, honestly, we got hit by that sickness. <laughs> that whole week is just a blur to me. I, I wouldn't have been able to podcast even if we wanted to. So uh, I feel like I was MIA for a week. Work was crazy. I ended up going, you know, back to work on Friday, but I worked from home just in case I didn't want to give the sickness to anyone. And it was just a mess. So this past week, Jim, I feel like I've been totally out of the, uh, out of everything, but no, on the tech side for me, it's been, uh, it's been all about Twitch streaming still just figuring out the best stuff to figure out the best settings. I, I just, I love tinkering with OBS. If you want to have some fun, even if you're not going to stream, you can just go play with OBS and see all the cool stuff you can do with it. Tony says in the chat room, uh, now that he bought one of those Google home hubs and he puts his pictures to Google pictures though, it'll just stream those pictures. I'm not sure. I'll be honest with you. I guess I'm, my kids are pretty afraid of some of the pictures that I have there. I'm, I'm kind of afraid of some of the ones I look like in there. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, that's great for you, Tony, probably not great here at the Collison house. Really. I would love to hear from someone speaking about that Google home hub. If anyone's mixing ecosystems on their smart home, because, you know, the, the Google Home Hub is actually, I like that better than the Amazon Show. 
Is that what it's called? Amazon show? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and I, I wonder if there's anyone out there who's kind of mixing up ecosystems. You have one device, you know, like the hub has a screen on it. It's kind of cool. Then you also have Lady A um, Amazon devices throughout the other house. Uh, I don't know. I wonder if anyone's mixing the ecosystems yet. If you are, let me know and tell me how it's going for you. If it if it's confusing you more, or if it actually works out pretty well. Yeah, because you got to kind of tell one to talk to the other, right? And and such. So, um, yeah, we'd like to hear. Send me an email, Jim at TheAverageGuy.tv. If you want to do anything with us, if you want us to cover something or do something or talk about something, throw it in the Facebook group if you want to. Facebook.com slash group slash TheAverageGuy. Or send it to me in an email. And a couple of you are really good about uh, emailing me. Uh, I'll take some more email if you want to do it that way <clears throat> as well. A couple of reminders as we uh, close out here. One, we'll be doing a pro post show. We got a bunch to talk about on the crypto side. So hang tight for that. Uh, this may be more interesting than just uh, what, what we're talking about today. The first part of it may be more interesting uh, price action than you're used to. So stay around. If you're listening live, uh, stay around. If you want to come out and listen to the post show, you can do that on our Patreon page. Totally free. The average guy.tv slash Patreon. Um, P A T R E O N will get you there um, as well. If you, uh, I mentioned this in the beginning of the show, but we'd still love to have you on Fitbit if you haven't done that yet. Jim at the average guy.tv. Send it to me with the email address you use for Fitbit so I can get connected to you. And then I can invite you to the new Home Gadget Geeks group. And so there's six or seven of us in there. It just gives us a place to chat. So if you want to do it that way on Fitbit, it's been great. Fitbit's been great for me. It's just so so motivated me to keep walking. And I know Tajoski has just been crushing it out there. So nice job, Joe. Appreciate you. Even over the holidays, huh? No yeah. quit. All right. that, guy, that guy's been burning shoes up. Like, I don't even know. It goes through a pair of sneakers oh, a week. Wow. So nice job, Joe. But um, so if you want to join us there as well, don't forget. Uh, also, if you want to support the show, go out to the Patreon link. Uh, new supporter this week that uh, that joined us. Let me just see if I can, uh, you know, Mike, I'm always like, you know, some people don't want that information to be shared. Like you want to do it, but they don't want it to be shared. So I always go back and forth on like. I always go first, first name initial last initial Do right you? i don't know that's the way i've always done it yeah, let me look it up here real quick oh it's gonna make me uh, it's gonna make it's two factor right we just uh at gallup we just um cut over to two factor um, it's a good I, way to do it i shouldn't say just we've been doing this for a while but uh we are really two factor everything now at this point do you use the last pass authenticator as your two factor uh no i use we we need to use the microsoft one Oh, okay. To get that done. So um, let's see. We'll go to notifications. And we will say, Mike, thanks for jumping in here, Mike. You know who you are. Appreciate your dollar pledge and doing that. Vaughn also checked in during the month. I didn't mention that one. He, uh, he's doing that a buck as well. And so Mike and Vaughn, appreciate your Patreon subscribership, whatever that is out there. appreciate that. There's one more way you can support now, too, is on Twitch. If you have Amazon Prime and you are on Twitch and you don't follow anyone else, you get a free sub. So you can subscribe to uh, me over there and that'll help. And you get it for free if you have Amazon Prime. So you might as well give it a shot. Yeah. Rock on. Get that done, Mike. Uh, as we stream over there to uh, to Twitch, you can do that as well. Don't forget the Average Guy TV platform, both web and media hosting powered by Maple Grove Partners. Get secure, reliable, high-speed hosting from people that you know and you know Christian. And you trust, and you trust Christian. He's a good guy. A lot of good stuff going on over there. MapleGrovePartners.com. He had a big Amazon launch this week. Uh, Amazon is doing their thing in Vegas right now, and his one of his products was a big deal. I can't talk about it yet, but uh, he'll be coming on the show in the next Cyber Frontiers 52 and talking about it. Oh, really? Yeah. Talking about what he was working on? Uh-huh. Very cool. Yeah, pretty great. I mean, it's public now. So I probably could mention it, but I'm going to let him do that. That's his, that's his deal. So we're, we'll, we'll let him uh, kind of talk about that when we get him back on Cyber Frontiers. Don't forget to download the app. Easiest way to really stream the show if you're on the road. Tony uh, on Twitter had just been, uh, posted a picture of us, Mike. It's actually a picture of you. He's watching and, tr and, uh, and doing the chat on his phone. Not the greatest experience in the world. But, Tony, thanks for trying. Anyways, he's on the road doing it. If you want to just stream it, you can get our app, homegadgetgeeks.com. And don't forget, 
like we have just been crushing HelloFresh. Like I can, Mike, God, it is so good to have three meals every week in the fridge, kind of ready to go. And uh, Sarah and I have fallen into a pattern where we're like, hey, what do you want to eat tonight? I don't know. What's in the fridge? You open it up. It's a meal. You're not, you're not, you know, it's not old pizza. It's not trying to make things up from scratch. Uh, we have done some things. So tonight we had homemade pizza. We, we, this was not, Thursday nights is not a HelloFresh night. So Sarah had been home for part of the day and she wanted to make homemade pizzas. So she was making homemade pizzas, but we made this coleslaw out of carrots apples and a sauce and some onions like you wouldn't expect that to be a great combo we learned how to do it with HelloFresh. she made it tonight just made it like you don't need HelloFresh to make that food right it, once you have the recipe it was delicious like i was like man this stuff is really so we had pizza and coleslaw or slaw all right it was carrot slaw i don't know what you call it there's no, it, um super delicious and again that it has just expanded. She's a great cook, but it has expanded our kind of repertoire of things that we eat. And if you're just struggling in that area, if you're if you're just you know um, if, if 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 it's same old same old, you're eating out a lot. Listen, hey guys, we're trying to be a little more fit with Fitbit. Uh, eating is a big problem. If you're eating out all the time, if you're punting to pizza, if you're just kind of grinding on the chips. Give it a try. HelloFresh. Let me know. Jim at TheAverageGuy.tv. I'll send you a coupon. I've, I've run out of the paper ones. Are they all expired? But I have plenty of them in my account. Again, I, I'm not doing this. I, I'm doing this to make your life better. Like it is. Jim like, wants to make the world a better place. <laughs> Mike, it has made my life better. Yeah. Um, just It has just improved my quality of life. And so one of the fun things we do is we'll get home and we'll cook it together. You know, the kids are gone. So it's kind of nice to have something to do together and we'll pair it with a beer or get, I've been, I've been crushing Rieslings li lately for wine. Well, you, you're a, you're a good judge, but you brought one over to our house and you picked a good one. So I can see why you're a Riesling guy. You pick out some good Rieslings. We just have been crushing. It's, it's Christmas and you can't do Christmas without a Riesling. <laughs> it's a Wednesday. You can't do a Wednesday without a Riesling, you know. Well, on Tuesdays or Mondays. Or, yeah, or Mondays. Or Thursdays or Fridays. If it ends in day, you know, yeah, it's a good day for Riesling. Day you want to do it. We are live every Thursday, 8 p.m. Central, 9 Eastern, out here at theaverageguy.tv slash live. Stay around. Guys, I know. Listen, just hang out for the post show. Would you? I, like, it, it hurts me. It hurts my <laughs> self-esteem when we start talking about crypto and you leave. Like it just hurts me. So just at least fake it. Leave the chat wing. Fake it. <laughs> we call it lurking in the Twitch world. Just lurk. Right. Yeah. Just for God's sakes, just fake it. Gosh, it's Christmas time. Yeah. Could you help me out? By the way, if you want to, if you really want to help me out, go to the YouTube channel. So go to youtube.com search for the average guy. Go to, uh, I think that's, yeah, I think that's right. And then just play a video for me. Like just grab one. You don't even have to listen. Just, play it and turn the sound down let it play all the way through i'm trying to get the monetization turned back on but i can't do that until i get my hours up and i have enough subs i have enough subscribers but i don't have enough hours in that nobody i don't know why but nobody sits and listens to us uh, <laughs> YouTube. Uh, ryan over in the twitch chat says i was gonna drop but man jim sounds desperate <laughs> Yes, I'm totally desperate thanks for bringing that in mike stay around for some uh for some post show crypto with that we'll say good night everybody